Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're gonna walk you guys through a beginner guide to Microsoft Visio. Visio is a diagramming and vector graphing software. So it's commonly used to create flow charts, floor plans, org charts, building plans, and many more. And this is sold as an addition to Office. So like a lot of the other Office software, you can purchase it individually as a one-time purchase, or you can purchase it as a subscription plan. If you guys have any questions about that, just let us know in the comment section below. Now we offer Visio and a lot of other Office software at a great price at Indigo Software. So if you're interested, check out those links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's begin today's video. All right, so I'm currently using Visio 2019. And so when you first open it up, it looks very similar to a lot of the other Office applications. We've got account options and some kind of general information on this home page. And then here in the middle, we have the ability to start from a blank drawing, or we could click on a variety of templates. Now, if you go here, you click on more templates and you can look at a lot of different options here. There's also categories that you can browse through. But for today's demonstration, I'm actually going to create a cross functional flowchart. And the flowchart is going to be about the video creation process for Indigo software. So we'll kind of show you guys an inside look at what it takes to make one of these videos. And that will be a good demonstration on how to use Visio to set up a flowchart. Now back in the home page here, we have recent and pinned. So we recommend getting familiar with this. If you're gonna be using Visio a lot, it'll help you keep things organized and you'll know where everything is. So anyways, let's get started with our flowchart. So I'm gonna click on cross functional flowchart. I'll stick with the US units here and press create. And the first thing I wanna do is actually go ahead and just title everything. So I can double click on anywhere where this text to edit it. We're gonna call this Indigo Software Video Production Process. And the reason I'm doing the cross-functional flowchart is because there's three separate stages that are kind of all different from each other. It's gonna be pre-production pre and then production. And I actually need a third one here. So I'm just gonna right click anywhere on the swim lanes. And then I'm gonna insert swim lane after. So that's how you can do that if you wanna add more swim lanes. And we'll name this post production. All right, so we have our very basic setup here. Phase is actually good. And the reason I started from a template rather than just a complete blank drawing, it gives me a selection of quick shapes or shapes that might be most useful to me without me having to really look for them. I can always search for shapes right here or I could click more shapes and find them that way. So it's not the end of the world, but I definitely recommend choosing a template that best suits what you're gonna create. All right, so we're gonna start this by adding in a shape. We'll go with a basic rectangle here. Actually, this one's gonna be a decision. As you can see, when I hover it towards the center there, it gives me these little grid lines. So it's helpful to kind of keep everything centered as you work you and just drop it in right there. And then to add text to this, I'm just gonna double click it. And then this is gonna be video idea slash brainstorm. Now to bring in the next shape, I can do the same process. I can select one from here, click and drag. Or if you wanna make it a little faster, you've got these little arrow pop-ups here. And when I highlight over this, it's gonna bring up these options. For this one, we'll choose the rectangle, double click to enter the text. And as you can see, this made a little connector right here. So we'll enter the text for the next one. And for this process, it's gonna be learning slash studying video prompt. And then we'll add another process here. This process is gonna be scripting. And now I'm ready to move down to production. So I'll click this down arrow right here and I'll choose the pill for start. So this is gonna be lighting and equipment setup. And then it's gonna be recording and then reviewing. And then now I'll go ahead and head down into post-production. Now I can already see that I'm gonna need this to be longer. So if I hover my cursor over this edge right here, I can click and drag to simply just expand this and make it longer. So I'll probably need something like that. So we'll move along into the processes here. So next is gonna be, all right, so I just finished filling out a very surface level flow chart of kind of this entire process, all the way from pre-production to post-production, start to finish. Now, one thing you might want to do as you're creating a flowchart is to emphasize certain areas if they are important, or you might just want to change up the themes or colors. So we're going to go through a little bit of that really quick. So some of the most critical parts of this is going to be the file organization, and then definitely the trimming and cutting, as well as the exporting, uploading, stuff like that. 
I would say post-production is probably the most important part. I'll start with this shape here, and I'm currently in my home tab, and all the way down towards the right, I have fill, just like in other Office software. And I'm just gonna fill this with a bright red. So as you can see, this has some contrast now, and it might help me emphasize how important this is. I can also further express what this means by actually adding text to one of the connectors. So if you hover over connector, double click, you can add text there. So we can put critical. It's very critical that all of my files are in one place, don't get lost, and are all kind of organized together because each video has three, four, five, or even more different videos that are all a part of the same video. So we've established that this is critical, and we also know that this one is critical, and this one here. Now if I move over to the insert tab, I can add what's called a container. And so with this container, I can drag this to cover multiple shapes and write a heading within it. So we could put review these steps multiple times or whatever you need to write. And this can help to kind of put multiple steps into one or just emphasize how important they are. Now, if I wanna change up the overall look of this, I can head over to design. I can do this at any point. I can change the different themes that they have available. I like the look of this one right here. And within each theme, you actually have a couple of different options for it, different color palettes. Uh, but we'll just leave this here for now. And let's say you wanted to change the alignment of this. I'm gonna intentionally mess up a few of these. If you wanted this to all be perfectly aligned and spaced out, there's an easy way to do that. So I'm gonna click and drag just like you can in Excel or other Office software. You can click and drag to affect multiple or all things at once. And then back in the Home tab here, I have some options for aligning and positioning. So clicking the drop down menu, I can do auto align. So now it's gonna line everything up in the middle. And I can do the same thing from position. So position, auto space. You can do both of those steps in one by just clicking this right here. Now, as you can see, there's actually a box around all of this stuff right here. This will allow you to adjust the scale of your flowchart. So I can make these bigger or smaller. And then again, between these lines, I can make the distance between the swim lanes larger or smaller if I want to. Now, another thing to note is that I'm simply on page one. I can always add pages, kind of like a workbook in an Excel spreadsheet document. I can add multiple pages and then you can click through those and make completely different flowcharts within the same project. Now, another cool feature is that we have in this data tab the ability to import stuff from Excel or other sources. So if you wanted to bring in diagrams or charts or anything like that from an outside source, you can do that all from the data tab. All right, so I'm pretty happy with the way this flowchart looks at this point. I think it definitely gets my point across and hopefully it helped you guys to learn Visio at a basic level. If you wanted to see a more in-depth tutorial on how to use Visio or other software, just let us know in the comment section below. Now there's one final thing we wanted to show you guys. In the view tab, we have kind of like PowerPoint, a presentation mode. So if I click this, it's gonna make it full screen kind of. I can zoom in or out. And here I could present my flowchart and kind of go through everything. And then I can press escape to get out of that. And now we're back in Visio. And from here, I can simply save my work and exit out. I can also share this with other people using OneDrive. And to save, all I did here was just X out, and then I'm gonna press save, title the drawing, just title it video, and we'll press save. So this will save it as a file on my computer, and I can work on it in the future. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys found it helpful, we would really appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below. Again, if you wanna pick up your own copy of Visio or other Microsoft software for a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all the links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.